Hello everyone. With seven days packed with official seminars and workshops, as well as the off-site roundtables and events held by agencies, advertisers and tech giants, it would be very easy to feel overwhelmed at Cannes. Yet, there are a handful of topics related to our industry that have emerged in the last few days. Firstly, the talk of boundaries blurring is over, at least that is amongst the most enlightened. In reality, the boundaries between historically distinct disciplines started to blur a long time ago. But it's only now that the actors, some of them, are realizing it. That delayed catch-up might be a difficult home truth to hear for some, for instance, the plethora of award entry categories at Cannes, direct, cyber, PR, integrated, promotion, events, is starting to look extremely out of sync with the real world. But whilst those artificially distinct categories continue to exist, we, as a PR industry, could do a lot worse than to enter our best work into categories beyond just PR. A great idea is a great idea after all, and what won in Cannes, very often this week, won across multiple categories, precisely because there are no real boundaries anymore. The second topic, I think, is how the technology giant's presence at Cannes is growing ever more visible. In 2013, they are playing on at least an equal footing with big agencies and brands. It's big time here for LinkedIn, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft or Yahoo! And so much more than just three years ago. Not only is this because digital and social media is reaching critical mass. For instance, Facebook announced yesterday it now has one million active advertisers. But also because there is a new realization that some of the best, most engaging creative ideas are coming from the so-called geeks. The geeks live and breathe technology and have a natural understanding of how to weave platforms and devices together to drive engagement. And finally, there is a lot of talk here about content and editorial excellence. A number of well-known journalists are here at Cannes this year not reporting on the event so much as helping delegates understand how and why editorial expertise can help brands drive engagements with their audiences. At a time when content is crucial, the admiration previously held almost exclusively for powerful minimalist advertising taglines has now evolved into a search for journalistic style, authenticity and long-form storytelling. This year discussions around content have moved along and there is now a growing recognition that brands, platforms and agencies have not quite yet cracked the code on how to successfully link content with commerce, how to turn social gestures such as liking, retweeting, sharing into sales. But in these uh, fast-moving times, I think we can safely assume this will change in the not-too-distant future. <laughs>